Hey. back to my channel i am so excited for today's video i always do this in intros i'm like i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm really excited for today's video uh because as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail in today's video i am going to be getting ready for my first trip my first actual vacation in two years Yes, I know I went to New York and I guess that would be considered like a little solo trip, but I wouldn't consider that a vacation, but this I'm considering this a vacation. I am going to California, San Diego specifically, and I'm going to go meet my friend Lauren Doan and our friend Julia Christ is also flying in as well. I'm so excited to meet them. I'm so excited to be back out in California. I'm so excited to get on an airplane again. I'm just so excited to be in the airport. I'm going to show you guys like a few days in my life of me trying to prepare for my trip. For the first part, I want to get all of the outfits that I'm planning on bringing finalized. I actually put these outfits together like a week or so ago already, but I just want to go through and make sure that all of them actually look good. Beyond the outfits thing, I actually have a couple of appointments this week. The first one is tomorrow. I am going to get my hair done. I have not gotten my hair done in a salon. It's been months. And then on Thursday, I have an appointment to get my eyelashes done. I have never gotten my eyelashes done in any capacity before, so I have an appointment to get a lash lift and tint. I also want to make a packing checklist for myself so I make sure that I know what I need and I have everything that I need. I'm being very organized because typically when I go on trips I don't do this type of planning and then I get there and I have anxiety about a multitude of things especially with the outfit situation. I never plan outfits before the trip and every time I get to the trip I have an outfit in my head that I think I would want to wear and then I actually put it on while I'm at the location that I traveled to and I hate it. And then I have a meltdown and I don't know what to wear and I end up wearing like not the same caliber of stuff that I wanted to wear, if that makes sense. So that's something I have been trying really hard to get together for this trip. And with that being said, I actually have gotten some new pieces. I wanna do a haul for you guys of some of my new clothes. A lot of these pieces I am planning on bringing with me. So I'm gonna hop over to my clothing rack over there and we're gonna do a little haul. Okay, welcome to this corner of my room that I just aggressively cleaned for this part of the video because I wanted it to look cute. So before we get into this haul, I want to say thank you so much to Prince says Polly for sponsoring today's video and sending over these amazing pieces that I am going to show you right now. I am genuinely in love with every single one of them and I cannot wait to show you them. I actually have a code with Princess Polly that you guys can use. It's going to be Hannah E and it'll be valid for one month from the day that I'm posting this video. So you can use that code to get 20% off of Princess Polly's website. Princess Polly also ships from the United States and they offer free express shipping of three to four days for US customers on orders of $50 or more. And they also offer after pay and shop pay to all US customers so that you can buy now and pay later if you need to. Lastly, all these items that I'm about to show you are exclusive to Princess Polly and all of the links, details, sizing, and things like that will be down in the description if you guys are interested in checking any of them out. All right, let's begin. The first thing in this haul is this sweatshirt. And if you are surprised by this, you shouldn't be. But if you are, you're either new here or you're new here which is fine. Welcome. I'm Hannah. I love sweatshirts and I'm telling you right now, half of my closet consists of sweatshirts. So this one that I'm wearing is from Princess Polly and it is the UCLA oversized crew sweater. I got it in the color blue and I got it in a medium. I mean, what more do I really need to say here? What more do I need to say? We're gonna move on. Next, we have this top. This is called the Lindley top. I got this in white, obviously, and I got it in a size US 6. I really love this cutout detail. It's so cute, it's so flattering. It makes it different and fun. Something really important that I kept in mind when I was picking out all these clothes is that I wanted to make sure that they were bra friendly because while I don't enjoy wearing a real bra, most of the time I have to because, I don't know if I've ever said this on the internet before, I'm a size 34 double D in bras, so I have like a slightly bigger chest. So it's really important for me to get clothing that covers everything that needs to be covered and holds it in and is bra friendly, you know, if I need to wear a bra. So all of these things that I picked out, I have tested all of them with a bra on and they are all bra friendly. And I wanted to put that out there. Sometimes hard to find things that fit me. So I really pay attention to reviews of things. I pay attention to all the pictures and I pay attention to fabric and stuff to see if it'll stretch and whatever with my body. So rest assured, I did the work for you. If you're somebody who has this 
same situation. Okay, so the next top is this one. Can we talk about this? I think so many people have this and I feel as though I'm late to the game, but now I feel that I need it in every single color. This is called the Stormy Top and I got it in the color brown and in the size US 6. I just am obsessed with the details on the front of this. It takes a basic tee and adds something really fun to it. I am a huge wearer and lover of basic pieces. I love the versatility of them. This, while it is still a basic piece, it's also fun. One. This next top is probably one of my favorite basics I've ever gotten. And again, I want this in every color. It is this black tee. This is called the Evant tee. Evant? E-V-A-N-T. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Obviously, I got it in black and a size US 6. Again, great basic, but it has the sides with the scrunching. I don't know how to explain what this is. You can see it, obviously, here for your own eyes. I will definitely be wearing this with a million different outfits. This is going to California with me for freaking sure. I already have an outfit planned for three. The next shirt is this one. So you may be thinking to yourselves when you're looking at this, Hannah, how is this shirt bra friendly? Here is my try on clip of me wearing it. I was wearing a bra on this clip. You can obviously wear something under this. I think I would probably do that. Maybe like a cute little black tank top or something. A very cropped one would be a cute to like layer underneath this shirt. This shirt is called the vintage tie up top. Obviously got it in black and I got this one in a US 6 as well. I think this top is beautiful. I love the material. It's so nice and thick. You can definitely dress it up or down. Why am I acting like my fashion influence? at this point. I dress it up or down. Like, who do I think that I am? Anyway, this is a really cute top. I'm really excited to style this. Next, this dress, you guys, is so cute. So cute. This, to me, is just the perfect summer casual flowy dress. I feel like I need to go on a picnic in the French Riviera in this dress, okay? So, we have this. Come on. I love her. This dress is called the Adelio mini dress. It is in the color green and I got it in a size US 6 as well. Where do I even begin with this dress? Where do I begin with how much I love this? The puffy sleeves, square neckline, amazing, but still bra friendly. The flowiness of the bottom, it's just, it fits so nicely. I just am in love with this dress. I think it's beautiful, it's adorable. The next item is this literally beautiful shirt. Beautiful. It's not silk. Maybe it's satin. I should know that. But it's nice and thick. So it's not like one of those that like is see-through or anything or feels like flimsy. No. This is sturdy. This is thick. And it's gorgeous. This is called the Vintage Vibes Shirt. This is the color champagne. And I got this in a US 6 as well. The size that I got fits really well. I could have sized up to a US 8 if I wanted a more oversized fit. So just giving, you know, some options and context here for you guys if you're interested in that. Again, you can dress this up or you can dress this down in this try-on clip and it with jean shorts and I think it's really cute. The next couple of things are bottom. So this first item, I was nervous about it. I didn't know if it was going to fit. Plot twist, you guys. It fits. It's a very much an A-line shape, which is perfect because it flatters both my waist and my hips. And just how adorable, you guys. How adorable is this? This skirt is called the Jemima Grace mini skirt. It's in the color leopard. And I got this in a size US 6. And I'm really glad that I did because I think that it fits absolutely perfectly. Next, these pants. These pants are life-changing. These are the Declan Checked Wide Leg Pants. I got it in the color brown and the size US 6. I think these are the perfect amount of flowy. They're still so flattering. The waist is so flattering. I feel like it cinches in the right spot. I might actually wear this to the airport. They're literally so comfortable that I would sit on a plane for five hours in these. Like, do I even need to say anything else? Probably gonna wear them just like I wore them in the try-on with like a basic white tee and some white sneakers. These last two things that I got are jackets because I'm obsessed with jackets. The jacket is the statement piece for me. This next piece, a jacket. This beautiful blazer. I could wear this casually. I could wear this to a job interview. I could wear this to meetings. The colors are on point. It's exactly what I want in a blazer. This is called the Mrs. Nancy blazer in the color beige. And I got a US 8 in this actually because I wanted it to be a bit more oversized. And I do think that it fits me really well, but it more fits me like a glove in this size so I definitely think that I could have sized up to a US 10 for a more oversized fit and then finally another jacket this 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 is a corduroy oversized jacket love love this you will catch me in this literally all the time this is the western cord jacket in the color beige and I got this in the size medium slash large I just think she's great I mean I could wear this in the summer too if it's like a chilly night or it's a cooler day I could throw it on like I have it styled here over just like a basic tee and some jean shorts or obviously you can wear it when it gets colder because it's a jacket we have a lot of versatility here and that's what I love about this also it's cute so that is it for my princess Polly haul 
You will likely see many of these in my California video or videos because I have included them in a lot of the outfits that I have been starting to pre-plan. And I'm really freaking excited about them. And I feel like I'm gonna look really cute. And I'm gonna be confident and I'm gonna be walking around like a baddie. So again, thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. You can use my code Hannah E for 20% off. All of this information will be in my description below. So you can check it out if you want to. Hello besties, it's actually two days later now, so it is Thursday. Oh my gosh, okay. I have vlog clips from yesterday, but they don't really like explain much. It's just clips of what I was doing. So I figured I would just tell you now how everything went yesterday. I did have my hair appointment yesterday. If you noticed, my hair is different a little. I love it. I think it's great. It's a great change. I don't really have a lot of time because it's currently 10.04 a.m. and I have my lash appointment at 10.45 and I also need to get gas. <sighs> Okay, so yesterday I did get my hair done. Thank God. These are the pictures that I showed the girl. This one was more for like the color and then this one was for the cut style that I was going for. Pretty much still have the same length. She only cut off like the tiniest bit of the ends just to get rid of any like dead ends, but I told her to cut off like as little as possible. Fluff, 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 fluff. Well, having kids is so hard. So the reason that I didn't vlog or that my vlog clips yesterday were kind of sporadic is because I had a very long day and I tried to vlog like clips of what I was doing, but everything kind of became overwhelming. So let, let's start at the beginning. I went to the gym yesterday morning. I thought I was gonna have enough time to get home and get myself ready and then leave for my hair appointment. I made sure to leave the gym at 10. I was like, this will give me enough time. I got home not long after and then I literally, if getting ready in a time crunch was an Olympic sport, I would have won gold yesterday. I'm not kidding. I showered, did my skincare, moisturized, made a smoothie bowl, put on my outfit, did my makeup, ate the smoothie bowl, and left all in under an hour. It was insane. I have never moved so fast in my life. Obviously, I was very overwhelmed. I was sweating. I was stressed. I get in the car, and I hit crazy traffic. Y'all, I am so late to my hair appointment. It says I'm gonna get to the parking garage at 11.59, and then I still have to walk over, and it starts at 12. So I'm really stressed out. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> beat it by like a few minutes. I get there at 1157 or something. Pull into the parking garage, park my car. And then I realized that the walk to the salon was like much farther than I anticipated by looking at the map. Said I was gonna take me five minutes to walk to the salon, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, but I thought it was just right around the corner. You know what I mean? I'm literally rushing to get there because I don't want to be late. I ended up being like two minutes late. I get there, I sit down and the process begins. I ended up sitting at the salon for three and a half hours. <laughs> I vlogged at all once I got home because I get home immediately. It's just is pouring. It's raining cats and dogs. The wind was blowing crazy. I was like, where did this even come from? And it was also sunny while it was doing this. So it was very confusing. I sat in my car for literally 10 minutes and waited to go inside. I thought the storm would pass. It was still raining. I just got annoyed. I walk in and my brother's sitting there and he's like, we lost power. That was quite unfortunate. We had no power for a few hours. It got very hot in my house because no power means no central air. It was not it. The vibes were not there. I just didn't really want to sit in front of the camera. So that was my day yesterday. Overall, Good day. I think that it. Who is that? Which cat? Which cat is under me right now? <gasps> you are the cazoras. Are you kidding me? Fluff. Oh my god. Are you the most precious thing I've ever seen? You came to sit with me. Oh my god. I would die for you immediately. You're so cute. I need to leave in probably like 10 minutes. So I just need to change and brush my teeth because I can't put makeup on, at least not on my eyes, so I don't have any on. What's the point? Can't put contacts in because I'm getting my eyelashes done. Then I think I want to run over to Target after that because I do have a few things that I need to pick up. This is the last thing I'll say because I need to go and get out of here. But I was planning on having this video up this Sunday. Then I quickly realized at about midnight the night of tuesday technically wednesday morning i guess at, at midnight i literally laid in bed awake because i was freaking out because i knew that the video would not be able to be ready for this sunday but i didn't know what to do because i didn't have another one planned or filmed or anything so then i was like oh my god i have to get this video done i have to film another video and edit that and then put that up on sunday i also have a few instagram reels i need to make i just got very overwhelmed thinking of all the things that i have to do so that's kind of where i'm at now is planning for the next few days like how I'm going to do all of that while also prepping for the trip. Let me give you a before of my eyelashes. I'll update you with what happens and how they turn out. 
Okay, just got them done. She said I only have to wait 12 hours to get them wet, which is good because I have to go to the gym tomorrow. I'm just not gonna wear my contacts for the rest of the day. And then she said like, just wait 12 hours to wear makeup. I really like them. They're definitely subtle, but I definitely notice a difference from my regular lashes. I make it just look like I have makeup on when I don't. Oh. Okay, off to Target. Just got done. Um, Target got the best of me today, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that you already saw that. What really happens is that I go into Target with an idea of what I need, and then Target eventually tells me what I actually need. So that's what happened. Anywho, I will give you guys a haul when we get home, but I wanted to tell you that this is the drink that I picked up from Starbucks today. There it is. This is the salted caramel cream cold brew with oat milk and two pumps of chai. I wanted to give you guys a little taste test. Yeah, this f***ing slaps. It really doesn't have a strong flavor of anything. It's very mild, but I'm a big fan. All right, that's it for my Starbucks taste test. I'm gonna go home now. It's 12.41. I was in there for far longer than I anticipated, and I also purchased far more things than I anticipated, so I'll show you guys a haul. When I get home, I think I might film first and then do the haul. Now that I have a coffee, I'm gonna drink this, and this is a cold brew, and Starbucks cold brews f*** me up. So hopefully I will have some energy. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go home. Okay, hi, hello. I'm back. I'm here to do my Target haul as promised. It's actually several hours later. I finished filming and then lollygagged for a few hours and now we're back. So I'm gonna start with the things that are actually for the trip. All the travel related stuff is in this bag. First thing that I got is this tech accessory organizer. I haven't even opened this yet. I was waiting to open it for you guys, but it has little pockets and straps and stuff. So there's some pockets here. And then there's this that zips and then there's some plastic things. I'm planning on putting like all of my electronics and charges and stuff in here and then keeping it in my backpack, which is gonna be my carry-on. Next, I got this. This is a travel wallet. And the purpose for me of this is just to be able to have all of my stuff in one place. There's a place for your passport. Obviously I don't need that because I'm not leaving the country, but if I was, I could put it there. And then there's a spot here for your boarding pass, which is really nice. I can keep it all together. There's a little thing here for a pen. You can unzip this and put cash or whatever in it if you want. And then this pocket is RFID blocked, which helps you to be protected from people who are trying to like hack you and commit fraud and whatnot. I feel like when I'm at the airport, which is not often, but when I am, I always have all of my things in different places. So I feel like I'm jumbling through my backpack all the time to try and find stuff. And it just makes me very nervous and makes me sweat. It just wastes time. So I'm like, I'm just gonna have this so that I have everything in one place. And then I can just carry this with me instead of like a million different wallets. You know what I mean? So the next, I bought this. I have been hearing so much about the air tags lately, so I decided to just buy one of the single ones. I'm planning on putting this in my suitcase so that if God forbid, literally, knock on wood, anything were to happen to it, or if it got lost, then I would be able to ideally track it with the air tag. It looks like this. Very excited to try it out. I bought a little keychain for it from Amazon because the ones by Apple at Target that I was seeing were literally $35 and I was like, I'm not paying for that. I think we have a visitor. Hold on guys. Aww. Hi. Okay, so if you know me, you know that I am obsessed with, you know the aisle in the store where they have all the travel sized things, different toiletry products and whatnot. I don't know what it is about that stuff. It just makes me so happy, but it does. So I got some of that. First thing I got is this travel toothbrush, which I think is gonna be great. Is Charlie serious? You can't jump on that, sweetheart. I want a playground for you. I think this is gonna be great because not only is it compact, but it also folds into itself so the brush part is protected. To go with that, I just got a mini toothpaste. Tube. Next mini thing that I got is just a little stick of deodorant. All right, next I picked up a mini lotion. I always have to moisturize my legs every night. I have to. An ultra moisture shea butter. This is a body wash, you guys. It's literally a body wash. 
whatever. I guess I needed that too, so it's probably good that I got that. Hopefully Lauren has lotion. To round it out for the travel specific things, I got three of these. These are just little bottles that I can put some of my products in. So I'm gonna do shampoo, conditioner, and my face wash. I don't have to bring the full ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's my Target haul. I'm actually so excited to start packing. I still need to edit the video that I filmed today and get that ready because that's going up this Sunday and then this video will be going up next Sunday, but I have to submit it to Princess Polly for a review by Wednesday of next week. I'll be in California, so I want to have it done before then. I'm getting very excited. Anywho, that's it for my haul. It's now about the time in the day where I go and watch Love Island UK, the new episode that just came up on Hulu this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I will talk to you guys later. crazy i just showered not too long ago hello i'm back it's two days later today is sunday august 1st it's 4 39 p.m i leave tomorrow for california i cannot believe it it's time to pack i literally made an entire packing checklist when i was in the car on the way home this morning i just did it in my notes app i color coded things i separated things into sections i wrote out so many things so i think that my stress is coming from looking at the list again just now and then realizing that i'm gonna have to try and fit all of that stuff into this and this this is gonna be my carry-on bag like i just need to turn on some netflix or turn on some youtube videos and have that in the background while i do this because then maybe it'll make me feel a little bit better and less stress i'm gonna start with the carry-on and also while I'm doing this, I'm gonna be charging all of my things that I'm bringing. I need to charge this I just charged one of my camera batteries and I need to take it out and charge the other one Make sure that my laptop and my iPad are fully charged and all of that good stuff because those things are all going in my backpack Let's begin <laughs> again are you serious fluff Fluff wants to come to california you guys five likes on this video and i'll bring her in my suitcase i mean seriously look at her the only comfort i found is blending in with another crowd when things go So here is our progress so far and Archie and Charlie who are paid actors. I have a couple bags I still need to put in here but they're not ready yet because I still need to use some of the things in them tomorrow before I leave. And this side, a lot of my clothes and stuff are in here and so is Charlie. Like they, all, do my, all my cats just want to come on vacation or but I still have a few things obviously that I need to put in here. I think that I'm actually just going to end this vlog here. I won't be like completely finished packing until tomorrow which is fine because I've done so much in the last couple of hours. I also just finished washing my makeup brushes so I obviously can't put those in my makeup bag until they're dry and I also need to use them tomorrow I have a lot that I need to do for the rest of the night and I'm beginning to get overwhelmed The good thing is I do feel more organized for this trip because I've made the whole packing list I actually plan outfits out. So I feel like I've done a lot more 
to plan and get organized for this trip than I've literally ever done before, which is great. Yeah, that's gonna be it for the prepping for California vlog. The next vlog that you'll see is going to be my actual California vlog, and I'm so excited. I don't know yet if I'm gonna be doing that in one big vlog or if I'm gonna separate it into two parts. It depends on how much footage I get while I'm there, so we'll figure that out later. You will see a California vlog next week. And with that, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. If you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just want to get notified right when I post a new video, make sure you turn on my post notifications. That's the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Charles. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,